everybody welcome back to my channel and it's time for Tuesday reviews we're gonna review stuff we'll tell you if I like it if I don't like it where I got it where I didn't get it who knows and maybe Oscar will even chime in and help and not actually try to take my lights down like he did a minute ago anyway today's Tuesday review is gonna be about some stuff that I won uh, in my previous video uh, yesterday's good stuff Mondays I talked about giveaways and how I like to enter giveaways and win stuff I did win some awesome stuff. I won the uh, Too Faced Peach Palette stuff, the whole peach collection, sweet peach that is. And it has been a lot of fun to play with. Now I'm gonna start off with the smallest one of this group. And that is the Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. I don't wear a ton of lip glosses, uh, mostly go with lipsticks and I've been really infatuated with the matte things lately. But this lip gloss is kind of interesting. Um, it is a lot more sheer than I thought it would be. But the scent, it smells like peaches. You cannot get around this. If you don't like the smell of peaches, you're gonna hate this. I like the smell of peaches, so it's all good for me. But when you swatch it, I'll swatch it on my hand a little bit so you can see. There's just not a lot there. It is super, super sheer. It is just a gloss with a little bit of tint. Now, one way that I have liked to wear this is to wear like a really good nude lipstick that has a little color to it and then do the peachy gloss on top. That has worked for me. Is it something I go to every day? No. Is it something that I would have gone out and purchased on my own? Probably not. Nothing really wrong with it. It's just not necessarily for me. I know people that would wear this every single day, but it just doesn't suit me. You see what I'm wearing today. Bright pink. Bright pink with a dark color. That is just me. I told you, the pink background, the pink lipstick. I'm all about the pink stuff. The next largest in the collection that came with it, I told you it was lots of stuff, is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. And it's a blush thing. Floor. Yes, the lip gloss. My cat's throwing lip gloss on the floor. Awesome. Anyway, the Papa Don't Peach Blush. It's a nice warm color, great little mirror in there. It's a metal compact, so the formula, the, uh, the packaging is super awesome. Very shiny and glitzy. You take a little swatch of that, and boy, does it take some to get any notice from me. This particular shade just acts sort of tawny on me. See, it doesn't even wipe off on my hand very well. It's buildable. So if you really want to work at it and get a nice peachy kind of a glow out of it, you can, but, oh, and it smells like peaches too, but, um, not the most impactful blush for me. I prefer the cooler colors. Um, I have on another Too Faced product actually right now. I've got on Too Faced Candy Glow, which you can barely even see on me as pale as I am. This doesn't do a lot. Is it bad? No, it just doesn't do a lot on me. I do wear it a couple sometimes though. I've worn it a few times since I've had it. I've been trying out the palettes and stuff. But yeah, just doesn't do a lot on me to swatch or to put on my face. You've really got to add more and more to build to get any kind of a peachy look out of it. The next one up is the Sweet Peach Glow. Again, gorgeous little compact with the mirror, metal compact. This is a highlighter shade, sort of a peachy blushy shade that's not, it doesn't even have as much impact as the Papa Don't Peach. And this, I'm not sure if they wanted this to be a contour shade, not quite dark enough even for my pale skin to be a contour, or maybe a highlight shade for somebody with super um, dark skin. I'll do a little swatching for you here. We'll do the other hand this time. And I found that with a brush, I almost cannot get anything up out of this. With my hand, it's much better. And sometimes I just resort to using my finger and putting it on. See, not a lot there. You get a little bit of glow. I know the lights in here aren't the best, but it does give you a nice peachy glow. That highlight is nice. If you don't, if you don't want something like boom in your face highlighter, just a little light glow. It's got a little shimmer to it. It's actually quite nice to wear. I've been enjoying that one more than the others. The brownish one that looks sort of like a contour. Look at it on your finger there. See. See what I mean? It would be a highlight, a nice highlight for someone with darker skin. Um, 
really it would my skin just does not take to that very much it shows off as a little bit of a brown swatch but not so much contouring i guess i could use it a little bit as a light bronzer but not so much as a highlighter they don't tell you what it's for they give you the thing and they say here you go try it out and play with it which you know i'm not opposed to that because i enjoy playing with my makeup the final thing is the peach glow in the middle Again, really rubbing my finger in there to get a good swatch. We'll go with the middle of the hand this time. That's not bad. It gives a nice sort of a glow. It's not very blushy. It's more, um, it's more shimmery than that. I would love it if they had these in a matte instead of just in the shimmer colors. Because when you get a little older, you get some texture on your face and those shimmer colors pick up every bit of texture there is. Hello. You don't realize how much texture you have on your skin until you put on some really shimmery stuff and you're like, holy cannoli, where'd that come from? Ew. But no, the colors are nice. It smells gorgeous. Yes, more peachy smells, peachy scents, sweet peach glow. Again, with this one, I would not have gone out and purchased this myself, just with the colors, the way it works with my skin. But I can see someone with, with a different skin tone might have a lot more use out of this. Am I going to get rid of it? Uh, no, I'm going to find more ways to use it. Um, I can see me using that brown color as an eyeshadow a little bit because yes, you can play, put things in different places because sometimes you just want that warm little glow in your eyes without being all, I'm wearing eye makeup. You know, you can be more subtle than I usually am with anything in life. Really. Finally, what I think is the star of the Sweet Peach group here is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette. Holy cannoli, look at all those colors. And let me tell you, they're awesome. They also smell like peaches. You start putting this stuff on and use the mirror that's in here, a nice big mirror. Um, the, the peach scent can become a little overwhelming because, you know, my eyes and I got to see and get all close up. It's like, wow, why do I smell peaches? Oh yeah, duh. Um, but the colors here, you can actually see if you look closely, I've been getting some good use out of these guys. Uh, one of my favorites on here is this one called summer yum. I'm going to take a little wipe of this here because I just love this color. I'm running out of hand space here. Okay, here we go. You see that? It blends really nicely. It's pretty blasted pigmented and it's such a gorgeous color. I've done several eye looks with these already. Uh, if you check out my Instagram, you'll see and I actually I tag them with what I'm using to try and keep track of it for myself and to let everybody know, hey, this is this color. This is that. Most of these colors so far have been pretty awesome. I like that they give you a black one called Tempting. I use that actually uh, with a very narrow brush sometimes as an eyeliner instead of using a different eyeliner. I kind of blend it in when I'm not doing a super defined look. That Summer Yum, I think that's probably my favorite out of all the colors if I have to choose one. Um, one that's really not a big favorite of mine, just because I think it's about the same color as my skin so it doesn't do much on me, is this White Peach. Now on my finger you can kind of see it, especially on top of, you know, everything else I've been swatching on my hands. but. You rub it on there. There's just nothing there, guys. It's just not much because I'm so pale. It doesn't show up well. If you have a little bit more tan to your skin, more coloring, um, that's going to be gorgeous. Instead, I use one that's a little bit darker. This Nectar. I've used this Nectar as a nice highlighting shade a few times. And I really like it. It's got a nice glow to it without being terribly shimmery. And it feels so nice. The formulas really are like creamy feeling. Not a ton of fallout. Um, there is some with, especially with the Talk Derby to me. The Talk Derby to me has a little shimmer to it in the pan. And when you wear it on as well, but like a lot of shimmer shades, when you go to use it, there's a little bit of fallout. Just beware for that and get ready to have your little brush to brush it off your cheeks. But otherwise, it stays on really super well. The only one shade that I found that was transferring on me and just got on my nerves, as well as on the top part of my sort of semi-hooded eyelids, was this Luscious, which is 
pretty. This little guy here, you can see it really stands right out. You see that color there? It glows. I like using that as a highlight shade. Just wherever I want to go, boom, pop, there's Luscious. But beware, it will transfer on you. My eyes do that though. I mean, I have got sort of semi-hooded eyes. So when I wear stuff on my lid, it'll kind of try to transfer every place else because it's all kind of touchy and feely up there. It's just something you deal with. You get used to it. You try to make a look that makes it work and you move on. But this... I see myself getting so much use out of this. This is one that, and if I had seen somebody using it up close and went, oh, wow, I would have purchased this. And I know this is like in the $40 range, $50 range. This has so many great shades for me that I would have purchased it. Luckily, I won it. Uh, yay, bargain of the century. All I had to do was follow some pretty awesome Instagram accounts. Um, but yeah, Too Faced puts out some good products. I already use a lot of their other things, but as far as these go, the quick wrap up, my favorite out of all this that I would have purchased with my own honest to goodness dollars, this one right here. The others, I probably would not have gone and purchased. They're not terrible. They're not bad. They're just not really for me, it's for me to get enough use out of to make a go of it. Things have to make sense for me to spend money on. I'm cheap. Or, or as we could say more politically correctly, I'm a bargain hunter. I don't like to overspend, you know, on anything. I, if I can get a deal on it, great. I always want to buy the best quality that I can, but just, you know, at a better rate. But as far as this review goes, you know what? If you like eyeshadow and you're kind of a makeup junkie like me, Think you're gonna like this one you may want to go out and uh give it a try and like with sephora i know they've got a great return policy you buy through them if you don't like it try it out and you don't like it you can return it i have yet to use their return policy though because i usually just kind of love most of what i buy from them anyway that has been today's tuesday review thanks for stopping by thanks for sticking up with the makeup junkie and me and uh and enjoying some swatching and reviewing. Hopefully I'll see you next time. We'll have a Tuesday review every Tuesday, unless I win a really super big lottery and then, you know, I might let it go for a couple of weeks. Then I'll have some more fun stuff to review. <laughs> Just saying, see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.